Hello! So I am inspired by little winter birds today and we're gonna draw a little bird in a winter scene. And this was from one of my calendars and look at these sweet little birds with little scarves, even a little top hat, little warm winter hat. So that's a great image I'm gonna look at. I also found this step-by-step -step image that's really helpful that gives us all the little steps. And then I also gathered some pictures I found online that I wanted to use because we are artists, right? We're not going to copy one thing and be done with it. We're going to make it our own. So I'm going to look at a few of these different things here. And I do really like this bird, but I love how these ones are in some little branches or this one here is on like a little stump with the little snow. I really like that. So we're going to kind of change it up. Oh, and I've got my little, my little bird there. Maybe I'll show this one up here. I like that. Okay. So I'm actually, I've got my Sharpie, but I also, I really need to use some pencil today because if I wanna add the scarf and everything on there, I can't just draw the bird in Sharpie. I wouldn't be able to add the things on top. So I really need to start with pencil. So um, I definitely recommend that for you. So you can turn your page. Now in these directions, the paper is turned horizontally. You might call that hamburger, horizontal, because they've got the bird right here in the middle. Now I'm gonna turn mine vertical because I want to have little branches and things like that and that's gonna work best for me. It's up to you, you're the artist. Okay, so I'm looking at the shapes of the bird and even up here you can look at the shape here. Here, this is kind of rounder. Look at this one, kind of ovally shapes. Look at this round bird. This bird is really filled up on seeds in the fall so he's happy for the winter. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna do a little round body shape like this. You see how big I'm doing this? And then look, I've got a little head shape like this. And then I can look at the different tails. Like this one's got like two coming out of here. When I look at these ones, look at this you too. You could do a circle and the little, little wings coming out if you wanted to have a bird that was facing you. So you can definitely change it up. I like this kind of little happy tail kind of coming up here. So I might add a little, a little happy tail coming here. And I love this little wing. I'm kind of liking the this this shape better. So I might actually round this out a little bit. So you see how I'm, I'm even changing stuff as I go. And look at this, how it has the mouth open. I like that. I think I might have a little mouth open because I think my bird's going to be singing. And then the little legs, real simple little legs. So this is giving me an idea of how I'm starting off. You can look at any of these images. You can look at um, you can find your own images that you like. And I'm loving the little winter hat here. And in my directions, look at this one, how it's sort of a little rounder hat. I kind of like that. So I might add on my little round hat. Now this is how when I work, and I'm, I'm doing a drawing for myself, this is how I work. I'm sketching lightly. I'm figuring everything out that I want. My eye's gonna be about there. This allows me to make quick, easy changes. And I do like the little scarf, but look at this scarf. This one looks so big and round. I'm gonna make this a little bit more of a, like a thick scarf, and then I like that it's blowing in the wind here. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna start this. So I'm really, I'm looking at this bird, I'm looking at this one, I'm looking at this one. So now I'm gonna get my Sharpie so you can see really well and see how I start to, to add everything else in. So the first thing is I know that the hat is gonna be, nothing is in front of the hat. So I'm gonna draw the hat first. So I'm gonna do two little letter C's. And then I like how this one looks a little bit fluffier. So I'm gonna make kind of a bouncy line. And you can do a big long hat. This one's a little bit pointier. I'm kinda, maybe I will go up a little bit like that and then make a big round fluffy ball there. Okay, so then even here I can see there's a little short line between the hat and the scarf. And then here they draw that curve line right down there, but I want to have that beak coming in front. So the beak, look, what letter does that look like? What letter was that? A letter M. So I'm just going to do a little letter M like that. Now it looks kind of like a little crown. And then the head goes down, touches the beak, jumps over the beak, and down. Okay. Now for the eye, if you notice, I do like how this eye has a little white highlight in it. So I'm going to do black. And actually, I'm gonna leave a little bit of white. My Sharpie might bleed a little bit, so I gotta make it bigger than I, I want it to be because it will bleed out on the paper. Okay, there's my little eye. And then I'm gonna draw my scarf, doot, out. 
It's really just like a big, big round shape, isn't it? And then for my scarf coming up, you can make it wavier, you can make it longer. Mine's just gonna go up, over, look, looks like a letter L, come right back. And look, a little short L right there. And I love the little fringe on the scarves. I wanna be able to color mine in. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make little rectangles just like that. Okay, now for the nice round body. Look at the big round belly, I love it. Okay, so I'm going to, and I love the little tail here and the little wing. So look at the tail, just looks like a little, or I'm sorry, the wing looks like just like a V, almost looks like a shark fin on the side. Did I have to do it like that? No, it could be rounder. Look at the lines in that one. Look at the lines there. In this bluebird here, I love how they got, they actually have just little lines and designs in it. That's very cool. That one looks like it's in little spring leaves though, doesn't it? Okay, so then I need my little round body here. Do, do, do. Oh yeah, I made the belly even a little bigger. I like it, I like it. And then I'm gonna look at my little tail going up, little happy tail, boop. Okay, and then my little legs and I'm looking I'm not gonna look at this. I really like this little this little branch here. And so look, I just have to make one, two, three. And I do want this thick because I want to color it in. One, two, three. Okay. All right. And the next thing I want to do before I go on is these pencil lines are really bothering me. So I'm gonna use my little eraser. Now I I wish I had a regular pencil. I, all I could find was this itty bitty mechanical pencil. Um but you know, sometimes when we're uh, at home or in the class, we're not in the art room, we don't have everything that we'd like to have, but we just make it work. Okay, so brush that off, makes it look more finished. Okay, oh yes. I love how big this is on the paper. Look how it fills the space. Could you do it smaller and then add another one, maybe facing each other? Yes. Now, for our wonderful music teachers out there, I think I am gonna add some little music notes because I think mine's gonna be singing a little a little note. I wanna have one go right off the edge of the page. That looks good. I think I'll color those in. I need to take some music lessons so I know what notes those are. Okay, so for this, look at this little line. All I have to do is make a little hill, boop, jump over the feet, boop, boop, just like that, little hill. And then I'm gonna make almost kind of a slimy line, right? Just a nice wavy, line of that snow that's just landed on top of this little bit of wood, maybe a fence post. Two lines all the way down. And then look at the lines they made here. And you can even see on my table that's, this is not real wood, but um, giving you that texture, how that wood would feel. Texture is the way something feels. So I'm gonna make little lines, little curvy lines. And if you want, I'm gonna get a little fancy. I'm gonna do like a little swirl. You know how sometimes you see the, the swirls in the wood? Ooh. And then some more of these little lines and then maybe some little straight lines in there. So kind of mixing it up. So now it's looking like some wood. Maybe another little swirl over there. Okay, now this bird has gotten some little berries because sometimes little berries are still around in the winter. And I think for mine, now could I leave it like this? Yes. Could I draw a line in the background back here and make a land and make this the ground and this the sky? Could I do mountains? Could I do little evergreen trees in the background? Yes, I could also do some branches coming up from the side. So maybe this bird has landed on a fence post and the fence post is around wonderful berry bushes. So I'm gonna put in some little branches first. Start off with my little branches, putting them in different directions. Can I have some go behind and overlap? Oh yes. And they're not gonna be very tall. And I'm gonna add little baby branches, make them look more realistic. And these are just little snake tails, aren't they? Out and back, out and back, not too thick. And some little ones here. Pew. Okay, I'm liking that. Do I need any more, you think? I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna add my berries. And then one reason I love the berries is you're showing, you're showing what the bird might be looking for in the winter, how they're surviving, because not all winter, not all birds fly south for the winter, right? Like those cardinals and other birds you see around. But the other reason I like it is it gives me a chance to have more color because those are all gonna be red and maybe I'll have some red in this bird. Does my bird have to be red? No, you could do different colors. You'll see some images of birds that I will show you for what you can color. So here's my singing winter bird. 
And if I don't draw anything else, this is all back here, all this, all this, all this, all this, is gonna be one color for the sky because I didn't break it up. But I think I will put maybe a little line here because now, look how I went all the way to the edges. Now this is the ground, or this could even be a pond and I could do another line. This could be the ground that's snowy white and then this could be all blue sky. So once I finish this, I'm gonna start to color. What am I forgetting? I could do a fancy pattern on my hat and scarf, can I? Because I am fancy pants. So I think I will add a little stripe in there. Do you have to? No, it could be one color. You could keep it simple. But I, anytime I can add a little pattern, I do love I do love to do that. I think I'll leave the hat that way. Can I add a little texture in to the wing? Look at the texture on this bird. All they did was little dashes and lines and letter Vs. Oh, look at the swirly twirly line right there. So I think I'm gonna add some long Vs here. Should I make a little belly? I kinda like how they did a little belly there and they just did little dashes. I'm gonna add little dashes. Oh, I like that we're adding some little texture. This is gonna be longer dashes like here. I like that swirly line in there, but I think, look at the tail on this bluebird. I might do that where I have, I'm gonna do little stripes. And I like how they made the, they broke the stripes up at the end like that, and then they added little dots right there for texture. Because these birds are nice and feathery, aren't they? Ooh, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it just like, boop, just like that. All right, I'm gonna get to my coloring. So I will look at my different blues for the sky. Does the sky have to be blue? No, it could be a sunset sky. Maybe the bird is singing in the sunrise in the morning. And I'm gonna think about my colors. If I'm gonna have a, a red sky, I, maybe I won't do red here unless this is marker and then the background is crayon. I do like using crayon for the background because it's really, it takes such a long time to color a whole background and marker you use up all that marker. So I'm gonna look, there's a blue that I really like. Where are you blue? Oh, this one. I'm gonna come in here, cause look at this. Ooh, I'm gonna color really carefully around all my twigs and branches. <gasps> do you know what I could do? I could add snow on my branches, look. Why is this, why am I adding the snow just to the top? Look, I didn't add one there, but I can add a little line here. Cause the snow lands, right? Oh, look, the snow would kind of gather right here on the bottom right here, just like that. So look at all that little snow. Maybe there's even a little bit of snow on one of the berries. So when I go around and color that, I'm coloring around my berries, I'm coloring around that snow, and I would take this blue and I would color the whole background. Yes, I would. I could do a light blue on the snow here. Then I'm gonna find a really good red. Now I'm using crayons, that's what I have around me. You can use what you have. See, and wouldn't that be pretty if I put that color in the scarf to kind of balance that out? Do you see the texture coming through from my table? Because my table is rough and it's making those little lines. If I color this on top of paper, do you see how it's smooth now? And it doesn't have those lines. So you get texture with what you draw on. Okay, so I'm going to continue to color this and I can't wait to see what you do. Good luck.